What's up guys, Maxim here, welcome back to another video, I hope you guys are doing fantastic, and uh, yeah, we have our boy Stain, and uh, yeah, he's one of my favorite characters in the game right now, his combos and everything is really, really fun, and I love this character so much actually, I enjoyed playing him in everything, and uh, we're gonna be taking him into some PvE content and actually see how he actually performs, but I've been working some on him, and uh, he happens like to be around like almost 40k bp just not the best sort of but uh it's actually something i'm still working on his chips i'm still working on everything else i feel like the game is a bit loud uh but yeah i'm still like working on like uh, his stuff he's still like an ass i'm probably gonna be working on getting him as ass because i feel like that's where he's going to be shining uh, like uh, the most especially that he's going to be getting like an extra 30 percent from his ss passive uh so um it's actually going to be interesting so let's hope i get lucky and actually pull some a uh, couple of copies from him uh because i really want to get him to ss i started like working on his chips but they're not perfect and uh, a lot of people have been asking me what kind of like cards do i run uh, on uh, stain or many of my characters and these are basically the cards that i run right now uh, which is like his native cards like um the obviously because they're really really good and uh they can stick up together so they're going to be giving you like an extra 200 attack points and plus like he's going to be having like um, an extra four percent and stacks up like uh four times which is like 16 i believe so it's actually really really good and also like uh we have this kind of card which is like the best one i believe and uh of course like when you go here you're going to be seeing uh that uh there is um, uh, the cards that is recommended for him which is like the normal card and also like the uh, Shigaraki card uh, which is like the the best recommended but if you don't have it I feel like um the ectoplasm uh, like card is the best form as well because you're, it's going to be giving you an extra like 67.5 uh, attack for 10 seconds uh once like it's actually maxed out to level three and also like this one is going to be increasing your crit rate by two percent for uh three stacks and uh it's going to be giving you an increased 10 percent number of combat fist attacks which is like very very good i believe of course like i have my best card which is like the endeavor card which is the active and uh, it actually deals 210 uh, percent of attack damage and also it's going to be increasing the character uh, crit rate to 100 and reduce like crit damage by 20 percent for four seconds and we have like the uh, thingy when it comes to skills i feel like stain is actually very very versatile but don't get me wrong because uh he's not the best kind of like speed attribute character because we have like ida uh, being like on top of the single target damage dealer so if you have like a uh, ida maxed out or sort of like triple ass for some reason uh, I feel like you should work on Ida and focus on Ida. But if you don't have a speed character, I think Stain can be like a good candidate uh, for being your best character uh, to level up, and especially for the uh, what is it called, like the mock trials, and also like uh, some of the uh, uh, maybe the upcoming uh, events and so on. So yeah, uh, basically he's very very like interesting to to use he uh his main kit is going to be uh these kind of cards which where he actually uh like uh changes uh stances between the dagger and also uh like the um the sword and um yeah I, I lo i'm loving his kit really he's he's really really fun and plus like he brings like sort of uh, a new uh kind of play style like compared to the other uh kind of uh uh, what are they called um heroes so uh, let's take him into uh pvp content uh, or pve content and actually see how it goes all right i thought like we can actually take it into this boss where they're recommended like um what is it called like power is supposed to like to be uh like 50k pp so um let's try and actually see how it goes like look at his damage like the damage is actually really really good let's do use that one and plus like he has the bar underneath that you actually uh you guys can see and uh once that uh sort of like get uh fold up uh you're going to be like getting his uh, kind of like fear aura or whatever and uh he kind of like changed stances where he does like extra damage and also like he's uh he uses like uh, both the dagger and the sword at the same time and it kind of like is very good but uh his main kit is actually being the um like uh using the e and after using the e you're kind of like uh using this combo which is like crazy i hate this boss by the way he keeps on teleporting all the time Like, his uh, W uh, kind of, like, uh, roots the enemy in one place and they can't move. Especially if they don't have, like, super armor. Oh, I hate it. Sometimes, like, I hate his E because it keeps on, like, getting him up, sort of. 
But look at the damage. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, he's nuts. Okay, we crashed him. So now we can actually take him up if we have the E. Okay, he's gonna go into the uh, bloodlust now. Like, now he's changed his stances. And look at that. Oh my god. Oh, this boss, like, keeps on teleporting. What I like to do when when I use his um, his E sort of uh, I can use like the cards because the cards are like kind of in a weird position, so you can't use them all the time. But look at the damage, Jesus Christ! If this guy doesn't like teleport all the time, I think we could have like beat him. But I don't think we can actually do it here because I kind of like messed up a bit. But I think we can actually do it again, probably. Ah, we're not running out of time. Let's go. I think I'm going to use his W as well. Uh, or his 1. But look at the damage. It's like, the only issue is that that guy teleported a lot. Uh, let me see, like, if I can actually concentrate. And, um, and see if I can, if I can just, um, beat this guy. Okay, here we go again. Here we go again. I'm going to use this. I'm going to root him, teleport to him. I'm going to do that. I'm lagging a little bit, but it doesn't matter. Can you stop that party too much? I'm gonna use his E so I can, we can enter the uh, the slicing thingy. But this guy teleporting a lot. We're gonna use our dash in order to like to teleport to him. He can damage us a little bit. I don't think it's a big problem. I think I didn't use his ultimate. His ultimate is not the best because I feel like he's kind of slow. But I could be mistaken. It could be it could be good. Okay, I'm going to use that, and while that is active, I'm going to use this one. I'm probably going to use this ultimate here. But his ultimate is kind of like long range. I'm going to use his ult. When he uses his, uh, his W, and then uses his E, he kind of like doesn't go up, I think. Or if you... I, I think so, at least. But I'm not really, really good at with him, as if now. I'm, like, trying to get better. But let's go up here. And then use his rage. I think we can actually do this. I think we can. He's gonna enter his... Oh, uh, he teleported again. I hate this boss. This is at the end when he's, uh, like, rage sort of, like, is gonna disappear. I don't think we can. Uh, I think we need like a little bit more of BP. I think we don't have like the um, the power to do it. Maybe. Come on, Sane. Do damage. I'm gonna use this one very quickly. We have 11 seconds. I don't think we can do it because this guy keeps on teleporting all the time. And yeah, I teleported like and I missed some of my damage. But yeah, I think like he's very, very good. I, I like him. And I think like once he reaches like that 50k PP uh, sort of like territory, once like I'm, I'm done with this kid, I think he's going to be very, very interesting. And I think like... He might be not the best, like, PvP kind of, like, character, but I haven't tested him, like, yet. But his kit and everything is actually, uh, I feel like he's more PvE kind of, um, uh, orientated kind of thing. But, um... I'm really, really enjoying him. Let me know if you guys like enjoying him as well. I'm probably gonna start like maxima maximizing like his um, his cards as well because I didn't work on that yet. I'm probably gonna work on the uh, gear a little bit in order to uh, increase his PP. But um, yeah, he's he's really, really fantastic. Especially if you don't have like an S uh, like uh, SS or S uh, it's like speed uh, attribute kind of character like I mentioned earlier. Uh, he's a really great con candidate to actually uh, become your main speed character but if you have Ida I don't think like you can actually replace Ida as a single target kind of damage dealer but this guy this guy is amazing he's one of my favorite characters right now I, I really need to get him to SS at least in order to uh, make him like valuable uh, and especially if I want to like to get him into that uh, 50k BP uh, territory by the way like my um, oh my it is kind of uh, 
like at 50k i think he's he's at 50k if i put like all his cards on him he's 49 without the card and if i place the card that i place right now on stain i think he's um uh his cards are here and uh yeah i believe he's 50 yeah he's 51 almost so and he's like rank 13 which is like which leads me into people are being like whaley on my um <laughs> on my server right now i need to like to catch up i feel like okay i'm 13 this guy the next person is actually 53 okay i need to like to catch up 53 is a huge probably because like they have like the uh uh chip overclocking thingy i need to do that as well but yeah let me know how you guys like feel about uh stain if you guys like enjoy him or not i personally i enjoy him so much and you know like you see he's actually like a really pve uh like a uh, character so yeah i'm looking forward to like uh, showcasing him probably when he gets to 50k pp uh but yeah thank you so much for watching like the videos are back to uh doing fantastic i really really appreciate it guys a like on this video would be really really appreciated and with that being said thank you uh, again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.